We know there are many types of triangles. Some are special, some are right, and the folks over at SATHQ want to test you on how much you know about all of them. In this lesson, we will look at the properties of isosceles and equilateral triangles. Then, we'll look at a few example questions that test your knowledge of these triangles. <laughs> Let's start with some basic properties. An isosceles triangle is a triangle where two of the three sides have the same length and the height of the triangle cuts both the vertex and the base in half. An equilateral triangle is a triangle where all three sides are the same length and the height of the triangle also cuts both the vertex and the base in half. When it comes down to the relationship between side length and angle measure, you'll remember that when two sides of a triangle are the same, the angles opposite those sides will be equal as well. So what does that mean for isosceles and equilateral triangles? In an isosceles triangle, two sides are congruent, as are the two angles directly opposite those sides. In this triangle, hash marks are used to show congruent sides and arcs are used to show congruent angles. Let's look at how we can use this information to solve a problem. In the following triangle ABC, AB is equal to CB. What is the value of X? The answer choices are A, 5, B, 10, C, 15, and D, 20. Remember to underline the facts, circle the key words, and label the answer choices. Okay, we know that the length of AB is the same as the length of BC. We can mark that on our triangle by drawing double short hash marks on both sides. And since we know that those two sides are equal, we now know that the angles opposite them, angles A and C, are also equal. That means that since angle C is 85 degrees, angle A must also be 85 degrees. Label it. Great. We're almost done. Remember that the sum of the angles of a triangle equals 180. Based on that, we can say that 85 plus 85 plus x is 180, or that x plus 170 is 180. Solving for x, we get that x is equal to 10 degrees. So answer choice B is correct. That's how you would solve a geometry question with only an isosceles triangle. Another scenario that is presented quite often on the SAT is an isosceles triangle within a circle. This is a problem involving a triangle with one vertex at the center of the circle and the other two on the circumference. Because that's true, we know that both AB and AC are radii of the circle. Sides AB and AC have to be the same length, because the radius of a circle is constant. This means that our triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. Once you establish that you are solving for an isosceles triangle, all the other rules apply. Now, let's look at equilateral triangles. In the case of an equilateral triangle, all three sides are equal. This means all three angles are equal as well. Because of this, all the angles of an equilateral triangle will always be 60, no matter what the side lengths themselves are. The height of the triangle cuts a vertex in half to make a 30 degree angle, creating a 90 degree angle with the base. This creates a pair of 30, 60, 90 triangles. Okay, one last problem. Let's see if we can use one of the rules of equilateral triangles that we just discussed. Remember to watch out for telltale signs that give away the type of triangle you are looking for, and see if you can apply the knowledge you have. In the following figure, triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle, and point M is the midpoint of line segment AC. If the length of side BC is 4, what is the perimeter of triangle ABM? Here are your answer choices. Let's underline the facts and circle the keywords. Underline the length of side BC is 4, triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle, and point M is the midpoint of AC. Circle perimeter of triangle ABM. Then label the answers perimeter of triangle ABM. So let's label what we know. BC equals 4. That means that AC and AB have to be 4 as well, since this is an equilateral triangle. Next, we can use the fact that M is the midpoint of AC to figure out that the lengths of AM and MC are 2. Now, we can look back at the rule we just learned. If we connect the midpoint of one side of an equilateral triangle with the opposite angle, we are making a 30-60-90 triangle. Remember, the lengths of a 30-60-90 triangle are x, x times the square root of 3, and 2x, respectively. In this case, x is equal to 2, 2x is equal to 4, 
and x times the square root of 3 is equal to 2 times the square root of 3. Now we know that bm is 2 root 3. To find the perimeter of the triangle abm, all we need to do is add the sides. When we do, we get 4 plus 2 plus 2 root 3, or 6 plus 2 times the square root of 3. Answer choice A it is. Now that you know the basics of isosceles and equilateral triangles, work on some practice problems finding sides, area, and perimeter. Soon, you'll be able to spot exactly which triangle you're given and know how to solve triangle problems quickly.